Basically, BEADAP is a project for the adaptation of local communities to climate change. Uh, we do that in, uh, in two different ways. In one, one way is to increase uh, agricultural production uh, by giving access to bio fertilizers, uh, improved seeds, also local seeds um, of good quality, and uh, agricultural improved techniques. Uh, the other way is to improve uh, their revenue, the way they generate money. Um, we are doing it by uh, supporting the emergence of uh, small businesses, small agricultural businesses and small ser uh, service businesses around the agriculture, like those uh, biofertilizers production centers are going to be uh, small businesses. Everything uh, shall be based on a business plan and generate revenue and make sure that people have more money in their pocket and can actually uh, better cope with uh, unexpected. It's important to Cameroon to, uh, for Cameroon to adapt to climate change because um, the, the rain is very irregular now. People are not able to know anymore when the re rainy season will start and when, when the drought will start. And so they are really affected by those irregularities in rainfalls, among other things. And so they need this kind of support so that their uh, production system is more, need to be more resilient, be able to cope with drought, can need to be able to cope with uh, irregularities in rainfalls. Uh, so they, they have to move away from the traditional production system that was based on regular rainfalls and regular drought season. BEADAP will support that by uh, giving access to bio fertilizers and improved seeds, improved techniques. Uh, bio fertilizers themselves, uh, without uh, talking about all the technical aspects, uh, will help the plants to be more resistant to uh, some two or three weeks drought and they will also help to improve the production with the, pro the improved seeds and with improved uh, agricultural uh, techniques. So with the same plot of land, they will be able to produce two, three times more and then able to uh, grow more food. So it improves uh, food security, but it also improves uh, in a market-based approach, it also improves uh, cash flows for the local communities. We don't only aim at food security, which means producing for feeding the local communities, but also to uh, have access to market and actually generate revenue. Because food is great, but when you're get, you get sick, for, in, for instance, and you need to go to the hospital or such kind of things, you need money. You need money to be able to buy things. And, and if there is some irregularities or there is a major uh, unexpected event, you need to have some cash to be able to to deal with it and deal with the unexpected. So this is basically why we think that only improving production is good, but it's not enough. They have to go towards markets and they have to generate revenue out of it. Myself, I'm working for CUSO International. Uh, my role is to manage the project, make sure, make sure that we, uh, the project is actually implemented, it actually adapt, uh, is, is implemented in a way that is, um, in accordance to local needs and local, we have to adapt always the project to the local realities. So this is my role. We have the initial proposal, but we also have to adapt the project to the local realities and not go towards a top-down approach, but really work with the people to get their inputs and then adapt the project over over the over the months. Climate change. You you know like me that we hear it everywhere. Uh, climate change is a major. Uh, issue of the 21st century um, and who will have to the, the, the one that will feel the effect the worst uh, are the local communities the people that are already in a, in a place where they, they, they cannot cope with unexpected the poor people poor people don't have the resources if there is any unexpected event to cope with it we will have uh, many other volunteers coming for the Biada project. Um, there will be 10 of them in total in the two model forests of Cameroon. Um, there will be on those 10, four will be interns. Uh, so we will work with uh, universities to get interns coming into 
uh, Cameroon, but mainly it will be uh, long-term volunteers. Uh, four of them will, will come in economic development. They will be an economic development advisor uh, that will also support the microfinance uh, uh, system. We will have also a gender uh, and conflict resolution specialist that will help us to address the, the gender issue. In, uh, in the project because women are key component of the project and if we don't address uh, the, the gender approach in a, in a good way, it's very, it's very threatening. So we need some specialists to support us in that aspect. Um, we'll have also two senior volunteers, two short-term senior volunteers uh, on market study and value chain study to really know where are the markets, where local communities can sell their products. Uh, especially here in Cameroon, there's a lot of projects going on and the, the challenge is that market studies five years ago are not relevant anymore because it changed very quickly. There's a lot of workers coming in and a lot of, of new people coming in and it changed the old dynamic. So we'll uh, do a market study for 2013. What is actually going on? Where are actual, the, the actual markets? Uh, so we will have two senior volunteers, one per mile for us, that will work with interns that will support him um, in that way. And we'll also have a development, organizational development advisor that will support the whole long-term perspective for the, the long term of the project.